Viaggio Ristorante serve rustic Italian food, a little touch of modern, getting your classic Italian dishes and just spicing them up a bit, new techniques, maybe some different flavors added in there. I've been in restaurants for as long as I can remember. My father owned restaurants as I was growing up. Quickly kind of worked my way up from dishwasher, applied to the Culinary Institute of America, cooked around America. Then I moved to Europe. I was in Europe for a total of two years. Belgium, Holland, London, Italy, and France. Cooking in the United States and around the world has done a lot for me. It definitely opened my eyes to see you know, different cultures, different cuisines, different styles of cooking. And I think that's kind of what makes up my style. My inspiration for this dish was definitely that cut of meat. So I chose a cut out of the neck and I simply just wanted to use that whole cut of meat. I wanted to be able to, you know, take all the different pieces off of that cut, do something totally different with each one. I felt like that was what was important for this cut and for this project. The first time I got this Japanese Wagyu chuck roll, I definitely looked it over for a very long time to figure out what I wanted to do with it. Took some of the parts that were a little bit more fatty and I chose to cut them up to make a Wagyu bolognese. There were some very, very nice muscle pieces in there that had unbelievable marbling and I chose to take that and perfectly dice it for a tartare on top of the croquette. I'm pairing them up with a little relish that I made of some assorted pickled peppers, pickled cucumbers, and then we're using that pickling liquid as a vinaigrette. So this is where we took the fattier trim pieces off the chuck roll. I diced that up, hand diced it to use to make our Wagyu bolognese. With that, some of our house cured pancetta, sofrito stewed it down super low and slow to really make sure you know that fat is rendering out and then we're able to emulsify it back into the bolognese. So we basically make mashed potato to use as the outside of our croquette. And we're using garlic confit, butter, cream. We're forming that all together. A little bit of cheese in there, Parmesan Reggiano, Fontina. Basically just weighing that out and then we are adding that bolognese. Once that bolognese is nice and cooled down, it firms up. So we're able to put that right inside the middle of our croquette. After forming our croquette into the ball with the bolognese center, we basically take it, we bread it, we're deep frying it until that center gets nice and warm, not too hot. Then we are pairing that croquette with basically a Wagyu snow. So we took some of the fatty pieces off the Wagyu, we placed it into our dry aged fridge. We took that dry aged Wagyu fat and we turned it into a snow with tapioca maltodextrin. And then we're topping it off with our relish and Wagyu tartare. After really playing with this cut, this chuck roll, I'm literally amazed by how nice some of these pieces were. I feel like I could take this cut and do a million different things with it throughout my restaurant. 